Hello and welcome to a new video. Rene asked me how can I layer three self-made samples in contact and map them to the same key. I show you this in Cubase. So now we create three samples. I start with massive and we add this track. And let's start with the second sound, the octave buzzer. Let's turn it down in the volume and record C3. And let's quantize it. Okay, that's done. And now we go to the next one. Let's go to the absent. And we take the sound, let's say, um, ripples the acid ripples yes works fine just copy this part and the third one is fm8 so let's wait okay and here we choose the trumpet yes okay so now we got three different instruments and let's hear them together. Okay, and now we want to export the three different samples. So we don't want to have one sample, we want to have three different samples. Now let's name them right. Let's name this buzzer, ripples and trumpets. And now I got to set the locator. Okay, here it's at the right position, but we have to start when the sample starts and not later. This would be wrong. Let's do it here. And I want to end uh, while after the part ends because some sounds um, got a long release of uh, this one. And I guess the trumpet too. Okay, so it's better to have it too long than too short. Now we go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down. And here we got the channel selection. Do not choose single, so you just can use one output. We want to use multiple. And here I've selected all three tracks, buzzer, ripples, and trumpets. We name this file or this project Tricky, just for the naming scheme. And I've created this folder. Let's have a look and uh, here. You see, I've done it once before. Let's remove this parts. Okay. And now the sample rate is 48 kilohertz we could use 44.1 this doesn't matter um, because the sample rate of the project um, doesn't have to match the sample rate of the samples okay and now we go to the naming scheme here we've got um, the name and then the channel name we could go and say a free text and the free text say we want to have um, tricky or tricky samples or we could uh, use the project name, but let's say name and channel name. Okay, that's it. I choose export and that's it. Now we go to the sample folder and here we got the three samples. Now we want to get them into the contact. I create a new contact instrument and you see here we got the contact 5 and contact. 
Contact 5 is the older version and Contact means Contact 6. So it's the newest version. Use this one and we can use the files from here when we go to this tab files instead of libraries but i stay at libraries go to this disk button choose new instrument and it seems to be very small but now we open it with this french tool and it seems to be very big and complicated but we don't need any of this uh, things now I open the mapping editor okay and now I want to drag and drop the samples into contact but now we can't see contact I just do a right click at the contact interface and always and top now I can see contact the whole time and for better watching the keys i want to have a bigger keys brighter keys i've zoomed in now i go to sampling i choose my free samples and drag them into contact and you can see when i move up the key range is bigger and now i just use one key but I'm just now using uh, three different keys but you want to have all three samples at the same key now click here and drag the samples to here and now we can change the volume a little bit and have all the three different samples at one key you can change a lot of other things but uh, this is enough material for new readers when this video helped you please give me a thumb up and when you got some more suggestions or questions just leave a comment see you then next time